Hello gamers and welcome to the Hapog Gaming Tutorial Series. I'm your host Fallen Frog and in this series of videos we're going to cover everything that you need to know about recording gameplay with the HD PBR. So let's get to it. For this lesson we're going to look at a setting within Hapog Capture called Multi-Track Recording. So make sure you have the latest version downloaded and installed onto your computer. You can of course get that here at hapog.com slash capture. So, what is multi-track recording exactly? Well, if you have a Pog Capture open and you're on the Capture tab, you will see the audio levels underneath the microphone input. With multi-track recording enabled, your recorded clips will contain three separate audio tracks with your gameplay footage. So, you'll have an audio track for your game volume, another for your recorded voice commentary, and finally, a track for audio coming from your PC. Without multi-track recording enabled, all audio gets recorded onto a single audio track. I'm going to show you a couple of examples in just a moment, but first, we need to know how to enable the multi-track recording setting. So, under the video quality slider, click the advanced button. You will see the dialog box pop up with all the different options that you can tweak to enhance your videos. What we need to do is navigate to the fourth option, audio encoder. Now, under the audio bitrate options, you will notice four checkboxes. The third box, use multiple audio tracks for recordings, is all we need to worry about for now. So make sure that box is checked and hit OK. Now, the next time you record, your audio will be recording onto three separate audio tracks. And if you're using another program to edit your clips or commentary together, you're going to love this feature. And let me show you why. I'm going to switch to my video editing program now, which is Sony Vegas Pro. Now you can use Windows Movie Maker or whatever else you're comfortable with. I'm just going to show you the difference between multi and single track recording firsthand. So this is Sony Vegas Pro, and it's what I use to put all of my recorded footage together. I've already recorded and imported two separate gameplay clips. One has multi-track audio, and the other does not. When I bring those clips down to my main timeline, you will immediately be able to tell which is which. So let's say that I've just spent an hour playing through a tough as nails boss battle with commentary all throughout. And maybe something happened during the recording, like someone interfered with my commentary. If I had been limited to just a single audio track and I wanted to delete that commentary later and then re-record it, I'd lose the game sounds too because they were both on the same audio track. If I'm using separate tracks though, I can just re-record the commentary and import that audio file into Sony Vegas later. The game audio would still be intact on its own track. Another good example would be if my game sounds were too loud and commentary couldn't actually be heard over all the bullets or explosions or whatever else is going on in-game at the time. With separate tracks, I can fine tune those audio levels and make sure everything sounds just right. And that's it for this lesson. I just wanted to show you yet another way that Hapog offers you complete control over your gameplay videos. And next I'm going to introduce you to a third party program called Open Broadcaster Software or OBS for short. We are going to look at how to use your HD PBR with OBS and some of the really cool things you can do with it. You can go ahead and click on the preview at the right for that lesson now. I'm Paul and Frog from Apog Gaming. Remember to like and subscribe if this video helped you, and thanks for watching. 